Are we recording? Yes, we are. Hello and welcome to another development block of Project Third Eye VR. So I've been working on the game this week and there are a few new things that I can show you. So let me show you all about, let me tell you all about the things. So that's what I wanted to say. Here we go. So I want to do these uh, development blocks a little bit more frequent. So um, that's why the last development block is only one week, has been only one, has been uploaded only one week ago. So, and as you can see, there are a few new items. So this is a taser. So let's try that on the NPC. So basically it shoots a projectile. This then sticks to the NPC and uh, tasers him. So let's try that. Yeah, and he, it also triggers an animation and lets the NPC ragdoll. So that's how it works. And as you can see, we have this string connection, so that's like a wire, uh, wire string connection kind of thing. And of course, he gets angry once you uh, tase him. Yeah, so that's really fun to do actually. But now he's dead for some reason. Okay, so uh, that's how it works. Um, the only thing that I don't really like is that the taser is now basically used up. So I need to have some recharging mechanism on these guys. Yeah, but uh, that's it for the tasers. They are actually fun and really simple. So uh, the next thing that I can show you is this forklift. And it's completely set up and physical. So, uh, as shown, we even have this thing where you can control the uh, steering with one hand, which I think is really helping if you want to control this vehicle. And of course, we have this lever right here that lets us control the fork. So, let's start up the motor by pressing the trigger. Here we go. So, the motor is started, and now let's move it up and down. Works perfectly, as you can see. And of course, forwards, backwards, we have all the directions that we want. And really helpful, this one hand control thing. Uh, so let's try to pick up these guys here. Backwards. More. Perfect! Here we go! Yeah, as you can see, it's actually not that hard. Because if the uh, fork is all the way down, you basically fit very well under these pallets or whatever they are called. Uh, it's the only thing that is not optimal at the moment is when you fully steer to one direction, then you, yeah, then we, the vehicle tends to flip over. So uh, I maybe need to work on the, uh, the suspension a little bit to make it uh, harder and less soft. So uh, yeah, that's basically the forklift. A really cool feature. And uh, let's get Milan. And I think I've already shown you the uh, parachute gun. Um, I still don't have the model for the parachute gun. Uh, I just wanted to have a simple round parachute instead of this huge paraglider. Um, and that's because the uh, 3D modeler that I hired basically caught COVID and he needed to expire, uh, not expire, expand his uh, deadline for a few days. So that's what happened here. But uh, still, as you can see, it's fun to use. Um, yeah, so that didn't really work out as I thought. But we can fix that by getting a gravity gun and then use it on the parachute. Here we go. So, there you go, Mila, so don't... And, uh, yeah, still I don't have a way to control the parachute properly, but uh, I think at some point I will find a solution for this. Um, yeah, so that's the parachute thing that I've already showed you in the last development block. And this here is the glider that I've also shown you in the... Uh, in the last video. So let's walk off this platform to uh, control it. And what I added is that you can now, so in the last video there was a problem when you want to turn, you would either have to physically turn or use the joystick to turn. But now when you 
enter the vehicle, the vertical rotation is unlocked, and that means that you can basically control the direction by, uh, by pushing down the right or left hand, and that, that's what makes you rotate. So uh, it's now completely... Oops. And I also need to change the way the seat mechanic is handled. So if you let go, then you will be automatically, uh, then you would automatically exit the seat. So it's a little bit harder to control now, but I often think it's more fun and also more realistic. And you really have to position the glider in a way that makes you go in the direction that you really want to go. So otherwise it won't do shit. Oh, we crashed into the tree. Yeah, that's respawn. Okay, that's the model that I found and I think it looks really cool. And I think I'm going to set this up next week. So as you can see, it doesn't even have colliders and nothing. But uh, I think it's a very, very cool vehicle. So stay tuned for that. So we got the glider and the other things and the taser. Here is the ATV, the new ATV. So basically it has the same physics as the cars in the vehicle. Um, yeah, that's how it works. So um, it's also drifting, but... So uh, where's the mega ramp? Is it here? Yeah, a little bit more to the left. Let's try the quad on the mega ramp. Yeah, that didn't really work. Uh, that's the thing. When it flips, it flips. But uh, yeah, new model and new mechanics for the quad, for the ATV. Um, another thing that I did this week was uh, experimenting on the BMX. So let me show you this. As you can see now, the uh, the bike is locked more or less in place on the X axis, uh, on the Z axis, uh, yeah, on the forward axis. That's what I want to say. So it stabilizes itself. So if I try to, uh, no, it doesn't really work. It just stays in that orientation. And uh, now the player rotation is coupled to it. So as you can see, we're moving because the bike is moving. But that doesn't doesn't really seem to work when we steer with high velocities, as shown. So uh, then the simulation breaks. So and I've did like a hundred experiments on the bike physics, but still haven't figured it out really. Yeah. And also uh, the stabilizer thing tends to freak out once you're in the air. So I definitely need to disable it once you're uh, once you lose uh, the groundedness of the vehicle. So that's something I did, and also I've added a new dirt bike, so that's the new model, I think it looks really nice. And you can enter it of course, it has the same physics as the motorcycle, but I did a lot of uh, tuning on the configurations. And also I've uh, played with the uh, center of mass on the vehicle, so that when you move forward, and I go full throttle, we basically just move fast, that's something I think you would expect full throttle but if I now lean back and go full throttle this is what happens yeah we do a wheelie and basically we uh, yeah we overshoot and crash but also when we uh, do this a little bit more control uh, well we need to turn first so yeah, it's not perfect yet. So let's move here. Let, let me try another wheelie. Here we go. And as you can see, I can keep it alive just with the throttle. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Here we go. Now I can also use the brakes to uh, go back. And another thing that I've added to this mechanic is an air steering mechanism. So let's try to find the mega ramp. Now I can... Oh no. Oh, yeah, it worked. So now when I am flying, I can move my controls to the left and right. And that makes me... Oh, 
that was closed. And that makes me able to control the vehicle mid-air. So uh, let's try that again. Maybe you can see it a little bit more, more, a little bit more clearer. Okay, here we go. Down the mega ramp. Yeah, kind of. So it's hard, still a little bit too hard to do because um, yeah, it can move in all kinds of rotations. So I think I need to lock some of the rotation axes or stabilize them to make it a little bit more predictable. Yeah, it's so cool to do these wheelies. But be careful not to overshoot it. So I think that's all the things that I can show you in this development block of Project Third Eye VR. See you in the next development block. I hope next week depends on how many things I get done this week. So stay tuned.